run backstage right now because today's studio audience thinks that they've come to a regular Oprah Winfrey show. But without knowing it, they've walked into this exercise. It's an exercise in racism. And my guest, Jane Elliott, started this exercise a long time ago, the third grade class back in 1968, after the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. What she's going to do is to demonstrate how easy it is to learn prejudice. The point being that we are taught to hate each other on the basis of the color of our skins. So today's audience was separated into two groups. Not on the color of their skin were they separated when they arrived. They were separated based on the color of their eyes. But they had no idea that they were separated. What we did was treat each group differently, discriminating against the people who had blue eyes, catering to those people with brown eyes. So here's how the blue-eyed people were treated when they arrived at the show. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Over there. Over there. No, no, no. Over there. Over there. The blue-eyed people were pulled out of line, told to put on a green collar, and wait outside. When the brown-eyed people arrived, they were told to step to the front of the line. Our staff was instructed to be extra polite to brown-eyed people and to discriminate against blue-eyed people like this one. Yeah, my license got stolen. Audience members with brown eyes were allowed to enjoy coffee and donuts. Those with blue eyes were left standing in a crowded room without refreshments for over two hours. The blue eyed group became upset when they saw the brown eyed people were being seated first. A woman with blue eyes was outraged when she realized we had fed the brown eyed people. Family and friends, top of the day. Really quick, I don't want to divert too much time away from the day, but I wanted to close out blue eyes, brown eyes. Essentially a more refined qualitative case study would develop from this, but the purpose was to show how easily hate could be taught with a race undertone. Third grade Iowa teacher, Jane Elliott, took her classroom of the same race and separated them by eye color. We saw how quickly things went left within the classroom. This study was done in 1968. In 1992, on the Oprah Winfrey show, they took another stab at it with all the adults attending that show. This time, the adults responded more violently to one another, ensuing riots and other aggressive demonstrations. I figured since this worked so well, why don't we take a stab at this approach with home ownership? I mean, I mean, we saw how easy it was to teach hate. Now, all you have to do is sit back and let me teach you home ownership. I'm going to add the video from the beginning to play directly after this video in a playlist on YouTube to make it easier. As always, I'm happy to help. Make it a great day.